Lily Farm Guy here, and this is a Steyr Profi Tier 4B MY18 by Austria Modding. I'm farming similar 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map. This is 26.54 megabytes to download. 22 slots on console, vehicles, and small tractors is where you'll find it. $120,000 to purchase, 145 to 175 horsepower, manual power shift transmission, among others. Up to 263 liters of fuel, 31 mile per hour top speed, 6.7 tons. We have engines, we start with the 145 with the manual and power shift, and we can have that horsepower in either a manual or CVT. We move up to the 155 horsepower in manual or CVT and then 169 again with the both. But this one, 175, we have manual power shift. Notice the model number, the 4145. We have a CVT, 4145 CVT, and then we have the 6145. Uh, power shift and the 6145 CVT in the 175. So we have four options with the 175 horsepower model. I, to be honest, I don't exactly know the difference between the 14145 and the 6145 other than the price. We have 12,000 and 25 or 16 and 28. Um, so anyways, unless someone can say at least in real life there, I'm sure there is a difference, but here I'm not exactly sure what else changes. I don't see anything else changing. It could be this top speed too, I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll show that later. Uh, wheel brands. Let's start with Trelleborg. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Wernerstein, Nokian, and Trelleborg. As you would expect, those are the base um, game tire choices. We have a narrow and a rear narrow and twin and twin and twins all around. So that's kind of neat. Trelleborg usually has the most choices. Uh, Michelin, we have twins, weights, and twins. Continental, uh, did it, we have a narrow and continental, Midas, just wheel weights, BKT, we have almost everything, Bertestein, uh, we do have a narrow, although they don't look all that narrow, they're narrow, and Nokian, we have a couple of choices of tread, and back to Trelleborg. Monitor. It comes standard with a monitor, but you can remove that and save yourself four thousand dollars. Front fender. Again, it comes standard, but if you want to take that off, another eleven hundred dollars. Auxiliary working lights. It comes standard with them, but if you want to remove those, again, you get a discount. Beacon lights, left and right, standard. But if you take those off, $500 off there. Front mounting. So it comes standard with uh, front mount, but then it does cost you nine grand. However, you can bump that down to four grand if you just want to go with that. Uh, fuel tank, 263, or if you want to make, give yourself a smaller fuel tank, which is an option. Not often you see that, plus you get a discount. Uh, front loader, that will cost you an extra 1500 bucks if you so choose to put one on. And yes, it is precision farm farming ready. So with this Area Pro Compact option, color choices. We have many color choices, including some custom colors. Gold chrome, some black. If we go into Giant's palette, no charge. Or any of the colors so already uh, lots of nice stuff here design color we'll just kind of make that gold on the top of the roof and the hood and rim color again we have many many choices it won't cost you a penny 
So, so even with the um, extra engine options and a few other things, uh, the front mounting you'll, will cost you money. So, but you can discount it. Uh, the Assyria Pro costs quite a bit of money if you put that on. So, um, yeah, pretty good for pricing and horsepower. Let's hop in, get our help window on. There we go. Start it up. Very nice. Horn. It has a horn. Uh, well, let's go with the lights. Because this says the uh, default extra lights. Very nice. Look very bright. Look LED like. L1 and right stick left and right is your back door and up and down opens your sunroof. L1 and R1. Oh, there's here's the interior. So that there's your uh, uh, panel, display panel or whatever. Uh, it does actually show a fair bit of information there. Fuel rate even, which is. Perhaps we've seen that before, but that's interesting. I've been noticing um, these information, these panels inside tractors have been giving much more information lately. Engine power, um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, the stock, the standard stock is giving my outside temperature as well as uh, a bunch of other information vehicle yeah cool um right inside we take a look to the left and with l1 and r1 and left stick you can uh, open and close our lift and re put down your uh, armrest as well as right stick left door and right door um just to note, I do believe if I read, there is quite an extensive um, description um, in the, well, description. Where is it? I do believe passenger assistant. Yes, Kubota DLC, if you want to do the passenger assistance or passenger capacity, it does have a seat, but you must have the Kubota DLC installed for that to work in multiplayer. Um, interactive control, that's PC, and simple IC, that is also PC uh, featured if you are running on PC. All right, enough of that. Let's go hook this up. So this is the manual transmission. Notice it's 20, oh, let's see here, not 25. Uh, cruise control, 32 miles per hour. I had set my cruise control accidentally. So 32 miles, please hook up, there we go. 32 mile per hour top speed. It takes a little while to get there, but there we go, 33 actually, so that's very nice. So I don't, yeah, I believe that's top speed for every horsepower model. If we stop here and hire a worker, Uh, very easily um, pulls this piece of equipment. And the workers, no problem with the workers, anything like that. The transmission shifts very nicely, very smooth power. Very nice. All right, let's hop into this fellow here. I also have um, things inside. Uh, this is just a um, optioned out or optioned up with the CVT transmission, and it's a 6145. So no speed difference that I can see or top speed difference. 
is of course much more powerful and if we lay that down uh, we're actually pulling a piece of equipment that is a little bit heavy for this but as you can see no problem at all And we engine oil pressure, we have engine power, air brake pressure, like all that stuff is, um, as far as you can see, moving, battery voltage, uh, lots of information on there that I think is actually functional, at, at least at some, at, at some point, or in some capacity. Yeah, cool. Very cool, if you like in-cab. If you like running in cab uh, your machines, that's very nice. Hopefully we get to see that much more in the next game, which has been announced to be released on November the 12th. So not too far from now, but there you go. Um, yeah, lots of information on the description by the modder. It's nice to see that it's extensively described there. And that's Sire Profiteer 4BMY18 by Austria Modding Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. It's only a game, so till the next one. Bye for now.